Hello, Seca. Yo, what do you say? Are you gonna go uh, for Abido on your free to play count? <laughs> Have you not seen the leak, Seca? Shen He is best grill. Dude, I thought he was the free to play Archon, though. <laughs> I don't even care. You gotta summon for the waifu. All right, respect. But have you seen the new stuff for Albito? His weapon is pretty good. No, no, it, it came out like 10 minutes ago. What do you mean? It's amazing. Well, what? H how do you know? You don't even play on Asia server. <sighs> no, Misaka told me. I was dropping like 30k bombs! Really? <laughs> it was so dope. So wait, Albito is the free-to-play Archon? Yes. But Shen He is waifu for life. Respect. All right, so we're gonna go over the Cinnabar Spindle and talk about this weapon in full detail. All right, so first on the list for the Cinnabar Spindle, this weapon is gonna be a Mad Lad Giga Chad weapon. You will be able to acquire this once the event goes live on your server. I just got it, and this is my first impression of this weapon at level 90. It is really beast. Uh, the way the weapon works is increase your elemental skill down, so it's gonna help out for Albedo's Transient Blossom. If you don't know how defense scaling works for Albedo, he essentially will get 240% defense scaling based upon this weapon originally. Uh, we'll go ahead and show off how much damage I actually do with this uh, with a normal set, and you can actually see how much damage my Albedo does just in a natural situation uh, with a Harbinger of the Dawn. I'm gonna fix my stat line so I'm not overdone on too much crit here. And uh, with this, I'll do a 60, 184. So this is going to be the starting point damage of my albedo on um, where he's currently at. And I'll also have the defense boost here to see to show you the differences. So this is with a Harbinger of the Dawn with, with no weapon. So the current weapon build here, we got to get, I'm going to wait for this to reset. It's just super annoying. All right, 16,000 or so, 17,000 and change. 19,000 on the high, okay? So that's basically what you can expect from this weapon right now from the Harbinger of the Dawn, okay? And then if we add a defense percentage boost to the Harbinger of the Dawn, so this is how much it would be hitting for with the new set. Starts off with like 20K, 20K, and then below 50%. See how much this is. 22,000 damage. So somewhere between 20 and 22K. So that's how much you hit for with the Harbinger done currently at absolute maximum with an R5 Harbinger. This weapon shits on that. So the original build for Albedo, by the way, uh, for crit ratio dependency is defense percentage main stat headpiece. But because the new Cinnabar Spindle is going to have a defense percentage main stat, what I ended up looking at for my stat line is I ended up going down to like 38, 137. So my crit stat line was way too low to run this. Even though I could have almost 3000 defense, the consistency of this build would be too difficult to maintain on this low crit ratio. So I had to replace the headpiece with a crit chance headpiece in order to normalize the stats and this only brought me down to 51 172 so i can do a little bit better on this if i could potentially get a little better crit pages for this but that's basically where we're gonna be after this video the way that you get the cinnabar spindle if you're not aware is through the new event and you have to do it through the dragon spine event uh the snow the snow shadows of mist storm dragoons it's going to be available and the refines will be available in the shop for alkahest that are available for 400 per purchase you can only get uh one refine on day one and then the next two days will be opened up you get the event reward tokens just by doing the quests and stuff like that and you actually get the center bar spindle by building a snowman you get the pieces for the snowman that you get through here actually out of doing some of the events that um event clusters out of here the, i got most of the uh the snowman stuff as you can see through just doing the uh the ice challenges you break out like melting rocks and it's no big deal and then over here you get other pieces for the snowman and that allows you to unlock the cinnabar spindle it's a pretty easy way of getting it up um overall the event seems like it has decent rewards but there's not much to do overall so it's gonna be a pretty light tell couple of days in genshin but uh we're gonna be testing out albedo now and show you what he looks like with a with the weapon all right let's level 90 this weapon real quick bam All right, we got level 90 Cinnabar Spindle. I was really surprised at the level 80 damage. So let's go check out this thing at 90. So right now it's getting 40% of defense. And when we use the Alkahest, we can get 50%. So let's just keep it at 40 now and then we can we can test it in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna test it on floor 11 because no Geo damage increase here. We'll use Jean, we'll use a whole team of like the Hu Tao team natural, right? When characters HP is greater than 40, 50%, defense plus 40. We'll do that next time, maybe. And then we can add, we can see how hard it'll be with the set, right? 
All right. Solidify. All right. It already broke. Shit. 17k on the resistant enemy. Okay. 20k on those dudes. Wow. 23k? Stabilize. Bro, this weapon fucking slaps! Burst forth. I will have order. This is with no set bonus. This is a no set bonus albedo. All right. All right, this time, let's take the defense boost so we can see how much we would get, like, with some of the buff. Okay, we can't, we're gonna take the small defense boost here. So now with a 40% defense boost, how much do we hit now? We get like the two set bonus, basically. 26k?! That's with the 40%. Alright, Albedo. Gather! Coming to be! Bro, he's doing 26,000 damage with just a 40% boost. So if you get basically the two set piece bonus at R1, we're doing 26k. That's it, just the two set piece bonus. Oh my god. All right. I'm gonna go... I think we're ready to refine this thing. I don't think I need any more testing. Let's just refine this once and see what happens, okay? All right, R1. How much does this go up? By? So obviously we don't want to take the defense percentage boost here to test the damage difference. All right. Stabilize. Okay. Burst forth. So we're starting at 15. 18k on the resistance mobs. 21k over there. No resistance mobs are at 19,000. 23,000 if they're below 50% HP. Wasn't it 21,000 a minute ago? Wasn't it like 21,000 a minute ago? Am I wrong? Or was it 22,000? Solidify. Alright. 17. All right, retry the floor. 21.5, yeah, that went up by that much with one refine. All right, now let's try it with the defense boost. Gather. Okay, we're at 21K in the resistance mobs. Okay, put this down. Already at 27k with one refine! And that 24k with no Zhongli shield. Thousand damage, dude. You throw in a Goru with that? Oh my god. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go to the the hangout here. One sec. One sec. One sec. 
we'll have a we'll have another video on Goru tomorrow. But uh, we're gonna go test this with Albedo and Goru with the Cinnabar Spindle real quick. So plan Zhongli Shield. Okay. Okay. Without Goru, nineteen thousand before. Nineteen thousand. Twenty-two thousand. All right. Now we're gonna do Goru, Albedo. Twenty-one thousand. Twenty-six thousand, my man. Burst forth. Wow. This is gonna do mad lad damage with a new set bonus, dude. It's almost as. Outlines your fate. No, my sword. Okay. So, do Zhongli shield. Stabilize. Or ulti. Elemental skill. Elemental skill. 31k already, my man! What? R2? And we don't even have a defense set? Bro! Defense meta is here, bro! Yo, okay. So, final opinion of Cinnabar Spindle. This weapon is definitely, there's no question, not even close, way better than the uh, the weapon that we had originally. And uh, the passive skill damage here is a broken mechanic. So, if there's any other characters that scale on defense that have a mechanic like this in the future, this is busted, dude. This is so strong. The one refine was a ton of damage, like a literal metric ton. Like I'm blown away how strong this is. R5 Albedo free to play. This guy is the free to play Archon, no freaking question. Jesus, RIP Harbinger, you will be missed. You were a great weapon for like a year for Albedo, but you know what? It's time for Cinnabar Spindle to shine and uh, the upgrade at Cinnabar Spindle is legendary. So uh, super worth and um, I cannot wait to go farm out that defense set. You know what I'm saying? I don't even have a set. I'm using freaking Maiden right now, bro. Jeez, I cannot wait to farm that. But that's gonna do it for this video. My name is Second Poco. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys didn't do the video, of course, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff, and you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.